We have got an awesome chest and back workout plan today that is gonna help lift the chest, strengthen the back, and define your muscles overall. So we're gonna get right into our workout. If you wanna start your watch, you can do that now. And we're gonna get into our first exercise on the mat, which is a chest press. So the goal for this workout, really make sure you are going heavy enough to maximize our 30 minutes today. That is gonna help strengthen, build, and define those muscles, and that is the goal with this workout. So grab your dumbbells, and let's do this. All right, bringing your dumbbells up, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Make sure you're working through full range of motion. Really press those arms all the way up, control them down, and press. Good. Down. Exhale with the lift. Good. Slowly lower down. Oh, amazing. Set your dumbbells off to the side. Let me ask you now, did you go heavy enough? You know you're gonna be going heavy enough if by the last two, three, four reps, it is a, it's a challenge throughout, but it is a struggle to get those dumbbells up. That is how you know you're going heavy enough. Also, that your pace is a little bit slower when you're, when you're going heavy enough, because that really makes you focus, and it's a little bit more work to get the dumbbells up. So make sure you're going heavy enough. This is the goal for this training. This is gonna help shape and define those muscles. That's why I'm challenging you with this today. So take the challenge, and we've gotta go again in three, two, and one, here we go. Press it up. If you've trained chest with me before, you know I'm gonna remind you of that egg in your underarm. I want you to think you have an egg in your underarm and as you press up, you are squeezing that egg, trying to crack it. That's gonna help activate those chest muscles even more. We are shaking with this right now. This is pushing us. Good. Last one. Down. You're gonna get your break. Get it up. Are you shaking? Are you pushing? Was that a challenge? You know you went heavy enough. All right, our rest is gonna go by quickly. If you need to take a longer recovery before that next set, please feel free to do so. You can pause the video and then get right back into it. Just try not to Pause it for more than a minute to a minute and 30 seconds because you don't want that muscle to completely recover. We want to, we still want to challenge ourselves. So we've got to get back into it, feet planted firmly, and let's begin. Our chest training today is really going to help to tighten those muscles up in the chest. Good, down, and press. Exhale. This should be getting very challenging. This is our last set for chest press. We have four chest exercises, then we have four back exercises that we're working today. Last one, get it up. Good, lower it down, amazing job. All right, no dumbbells for this next exercise because we're going into push-ups. So you can set your dumbbells off to the side. Now with our push-ups, if you were working on getting your push-ups on, to your toes then, and you usually do them on your knees, I'm gonna challenge you to try to get a couple reps in on your toes the best form you can, full range of motion, and then if you need to take it to your toes, you will do that. <sighs> but we've gotta flip it on over, going into our push-up in three, in two, and one. Here we go. <sighs> Make sure you're keeping your legs tight, your bum tight, and your elbows going to the wall behind you. Exhale as you press up, pushing through the palms of your hands. Good. Oh, these are so tough, especially after a heavy chest press. One more. Awesome job. Shake it out. Let those arms just rest. Shake it out. We're going again in about 20 seconds. Oh, breathing. 
push-ups. <sighs> they are a tough exercise. But, oh my word, it is one of the best exercises. Same thing with this, just as we were focusing the chest press, thinking about squeezing an egg, I want you to think of the same thing as you press up, squeeze that egg, crack the egg, build the chest muscles, but we've gotta begin, here we go. The reason I ask you to tighten your legs and tighten your glutes is because that's gonna make your body a little bit more stable as you press up. So I, th I like to think of it as, if you've ever had to carry a child in when they're sleeping and it's just, they're not helping you carry it all. When you tighten your body up like that, you're giving your body a little bit more, oh, a little bit more mm, to help you get it up as opposed to just trying to push yourself up that way. So hopefully that makes sense. Oh, breathing, less than 20. One more set of push-ups. Challenging you for this last set. If you can do some on your toes, do some on your toes. With the best form that you can, with the best range of motion that you can, and as you continue to do that, build up those chest and core muscles, it's gonna help get your push-ups on your toes for all of them. All right, we gotta go. Last set of push-ups, come on, your best set. We are here to get stronger today, and I want you to keep that in mind. Keep that as your focus as you push and as the shake becomes even more real. <sighs> the shake is not for nothing. You are making changes. <sighs> oh, okay, we've had failure. That's a good thing. That is what we want in weight training. <sighs> Last one. Amazing job. All right, we are working the chest again. This time we have chest flies. Arms are gonna open wide, close back up. Again, we are squeezing. So grab dumbbells for that. Let's get ready to go. Timer is ticking again. If you need longer rest, take it, but not too long and get right back into it. We've got three seconds, two and one. Here we go. Squeeze up. If you're going heavy enough, you're probably gonna be going pretty slow in these exercises. The goal for reps today, even though we don't, we're not counting reps, we're working by time, anywhere from about six to about 12 reps is the goal for our hypertrophy training today. That number of reps gives us the ability to go heavy enough and challenge those muscles, breaking the muscles down so they can build back stronger. And the hypertrophy training is what increases your muscle size. So that's what we're working on. That's gonna help define and tone your muscles. Last one. <sighs> Ladies, don't worry, we're not gonna be getting bulky. Okay, we're just gonna be getting shapely. How about that? Is that a word? That's not a word, I don't think. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> okay, 10 seconds and we go. <sighs> really let, let your arms rest. Shake it out, but roll it back because we've got five seconds. Doing that again, if you need to go up in weight, go up in weight. You can always go back down. But find out what you're made of today and make it count. Here we go. Opening. But this is one exercise that start a little bit lighter and if you can go up, go up. Because the shoulders involved, you don't want to go too heavy. So just pick a weight that's challenging but allows you to keep good form and keep you in control of the dumbbell. Exhale, squeeze, come on, focus. Almost there, last one. Oh, you've got it, nice. Set your dumbbells down. Again, by the last two, three, four reps. If you are shaking, if it is a struggle, things are going really slow to get them back up, you know you've gone heavy enough. All right, one more set like that. Bring your dumbbells up. Last one, here we go. Oh, 
Exhale and squeeze. One more chest exercise after this. Keep your mind focused here on this exercise, still squeezing that egg as you come up to the top of that rep. And squeeze, good, almost there. One more rep, open, and squeeze. Oh. I had to power up on that last one. <laughs> Amazing job. All right, now we get a nice recovery before we go into our last and final chest exercise. We are doing a pullover for our final exercise. I'm gonna use just one dumbbell for this. You can use two if you'd like. But grab your dumbbell and let's roll it on back and get ready to go. And let's begin. Just gonna hold it like this. And pull back up. Good. Stopping that dumbbell perpendicular to the floor so you don't wanna pull it over too far. Just stopping it straight up. Use those chest muscles to squeeze and pull back up. Feeling this in the lats as well, which is perfect since we're working chest and back today. And the core is feeling this. We've got time for one more. This is a slow exercise. So we're not getting quite as many reps in maybe with some of the other exercises we've been doing. Oh, last one, nice job. Set your dumbbell down, rest it out. Rest timer is gonna go by quickly. Stretch it out if you need to. You are rocking it. I do enjoy working chest to be honest with you. It's not my favorite, but I like it more than back. Oh, all right, we've got to go again. So bring it up, holding tightly to that dumbbell, lowering it nice and slow, dropping it down, and then pulling back up. As you pull, as, those, uh, as your dumbbell is over your head, arms are straight, you are feeling that core activate. So this is an amazing compound exercise but still really targets the chest to build those muscles. Oof. Last one. And up, oh, amazing job. All right, set your dumbbell down, shake it out. Oh. One more like that, one more set of our pullovers. We've got 10 seconds. So getting into position, this is gonna be it. And then we move on to back. So bring it up. And here we go. 40 seconds. Keeping your wrist straight as well with this move. Over halfway, keep it up, keep it strong. We've got time for two more reps. Go ahead and pull, last and final one. Down. Oh my goodness, and up. Oh, awesome, set your dumbbell down. We are switching up, and now we are working the back. So bring it up. If you have your chair or your bench, grab that. We're gonna use that. We're gonna do a single arm row. We're gonna work right side first. Then we're gonna switch it over to left. If you don't have your chair, that is totally fine. You can just do this as a standing hinge row. But getting your box, getting your dumbbell. Remember, we're going heavy. And we've gotta go in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze. Really extend down, let that back muscle stretch a little bit, and then squeeze it back up. Squeezing shoulder blade around spine. Holding it at the top for a second. 
and help using this box as support. <laughs> Getting this little extra support is gonna help you maximize that muscle contraction on the right side because it's making that right side do all the work. Last one, down. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Control it down. Amazing. Three sets like that. Shake it out, stretch it out. Grab a drink, dry off if you need to. We are over halfway through this workout. We have under 15 minutes to go now. Breathing, but we've got to go in four seconds. Here's three, two. Did you go heavy enough? Short, I know that was a, that was a little bit short on time for that question, but think about it during this set. If you need to go up for your last and final set, you're going to have one more chance after this to do that. And squeeze. And pull over halfway through this set. We are gonna be feeling the back tomorrow. Last one, control it down. Good. You are the bomb, for real. I am pushing right with you so I know how you feel. But let me ask you again, are you going heavy enough? Because this is gonna be the last time through for our back exercises. And keep in mind the weight you're using so that you can do the same thing on the left-hand side when we get there. We've got five seconds and we go again. So get into position, get your dumbbells, hinge it on over, and let's begin. And squeeze. Back flat, core engaged. Don't let your shoulder, your shoulders come up to your ears as we row. Keep everything relaxed. But really control the weight down, let it extend, stretch that muscle, and then row back up. Keeping that arm close to your body. Okay, this is it, this is it. Come on, home stretch, here we go. Squeeze, oh my goodness, the shape. Oh, good. Set your dumbbell down. Set yourself down if you need to. Amazing job. Breathing it out. We gotta switch it over because we've got 15 seconds before we switch it to the left side now. So getting ready to go again. I want you to keep that in mind. Same thing. Let that arm extend all the way. Squeeze shoulder blade around spine. Bring the dumbbell up and let's begin. Squeeze. Now don't let your shoulders open up as you row. You still wanna keep your shoulders square to the ground. We're not rotating. We're just squeezing. Pulling and squeezing. Let that arm stretch at the bottom and then control it up. Usually I am not super excited about back, but I am actually feeling this today and it is making me so excited. Whew. That was it, set your weight down. Really, back is such a struggle for me, but there are just some days when you're feeling it and you just gotta go with it. So make sure if you are feeling it today, even if you're not feeling it, let's just go all in because we are getting close. We are almost halfway through our back round. And that means we have two exercises after we finish this left arm row. We've gotta go in three seconds. So get back into position, extend, Pull, squeeze. Exhale when that dumbbell is at the top, hold it at the top for a second. So really get that squeeze, shoulder blade around spine, control it down. Remember, shoulders are also relaxed down away from your ears. So as you squeeze up, don't think about squeezing your shoulders. Uh, no, keep them down, keep them down. Just that shoulder blade around spine and down. Good. Last one, squeeze and control. Awesome, set it down. 
Breathe it out. One more set. We go in 15 seconds, shake it out. Again, if you need to take a longer break in between sets, you can do so, but not too long. We've got to go in five seconds, so grab your dumbbell, get into position. Back flat, core engaged, here we go. Arm close to your body. I'm spotting myself here on this. I'm helping myself here on this one. Oh my goodness. Almost there. My left side is a little bit more of a struggle than the right side. You may notice that. That is okay. We all have muscular imbalances just from our day-to-day -day life. So that is totally normal if you notice that. Last one. Control it down. Oh my goodness, the arm. We need to get the box out of the way. We're going into our next exercise, which is a reverse grip row. So now the arms are gonna be working at the same time together. We have two exercises left, four back. Pop your dumbbell out of the way. Grab your dumbbells for the reverse grip row. We go in just about five seconds, so we're moving quick. Back flat, core engaged, hinge it down, and let's begin. Same thing I want you to think about. Let those arms extend all the way. Squeeze, hold at the top, control back down. There are some workouts we work where we work, to work with speed. We try to get through more reps with lighter weight, but today, heavy weight, slowing things down. Good, breathing. Extend it down. Good, that was it. Set your dumbbells down, shake it out. Two more sets like that. Roll it out. A few shoulder rolls. Getting funky, getting grooving right now because we are almost there. Sometimes you gotta get that second win just to say, yes, I'm almost there, I've almost made it. We've gotta go in three seconds. So grab your dumbbells. If you need to go up in dumbbells, grab those now. Pick it up. Let's begin. Arms still staying close to your body as you row up. The exhale comes right here as you squeeze, breathe out, focus on form. Keeping that back flat. Let's do one more. Squeeze it up, come on, this is it. And down, set your weights down. Oh my. We're doing it. 20 seconds left. It's a good day. It's a good day, I'm excited about back day today. Oh my goodness, it's the little things, right? Let the little things get you excited. When you're excited about the muscle group that really challenges you, go for it. Live it up. And we've gotta go, this is our last set. 40 seconds to work, come on, make it count. Make it count, you are so close, here we go. Squeeze. All the way, to all the way up. Come on, over halfway, you have got this. And squeeze. Be so excited for what you are capable of right now. I mean, this is amazing. Especially if you are not used to lifting weights, if this is new to you, you are doing something oh so good. Whew, down. Awesome job. You may not see the benefits quite yet if you are new to it, but I'm telling you, they, when they show up, it's amazing, and if you've been strength training before, you know what I'm talking about. It is just, it is amazing what our bodies are capable of, but sometimes we stop them before we can even push to that point. 
Don't stop yourself, keep going. <gasps> we are going into our last and final exercise. Our last and final exercise is a wide grip row. Grab your dumbbells, we're going into it. Hinge it over in three, two, and one. So bending those elbows, controlling it up, controlling it down. Amazing job. That recovery is coming. Keep that in mind as it gets tough. One more, one more, one more. You've got it, come on. Oh, awesome. Breathe it out. Recovery is gonna go by quick. Two more. Two more sets, that is it. We go in under 15 seconds, shake it out. Same thing, do you need to go up and wait? Do you need to go down and wait? Whatever you need to do to keep good form, to keep pushing, to keep building, do that. We go in three seconds, grab your dumbbells. Oh, come on, butt kicker, let's go. Squeeze, this is it. Whew. Keep good form, back flat, core is engaged, neck neutral. So what that means is you don't wanna be looking up and around. You don't wanna be looking too far down or back. Just a nice neutral position. I, your gaze is just right out in front of you. Almost there. Oh, this is so tough by the end. I'm telling you. Last one. Amazing. Breathe it out. Final 40 seconds of work and you have made it. This is, the finish line is so close. And I'm telling you what, your body's gonna repay you by getting stronger. That is the business right there. That is amazing. We go in five seconds. So get your dumbbells, this is it. Make every second count, hinge it over, and we begin. Again, let those arms come all the way down. You're in control of the dumbbells here as you squeeze and then extend. Pull up, good. So close, come on, keep it strong. You've got just about 10 seconds. Oh, hypertrophy training, heck. Yes, that was it. Set your dumbbells down. Oh my word. Chest and back, stronger because of what you just did. I wanna give you a serious high five for making it count today. Do not forget to get a stretch. It's gonna feel so good, especially after back day, because those muscles are gonna be tight. Get a nice stretch, stretch those out. Chest as well. Feel amazing as well, because you are amazing. I love you. See you at the stretch. Thanks for joining me on this one. I love you.